you learn how to make your own organic, easy, cheap and simply delicious kimchi. This is the big brother of sauerkraut in that it's more spicy, pickly, with a little garlic, horseradish, red pepper and ginger, all the stuff that give it zing. What you need for that is you need two cabbages, they about 500-600 grams each, so about a kilogram in total. You chop them in halves and quarter them, take off the cores because they are kind of hard, those little pieces you cut out. Uh, and then you chop it up into about eighth of an inch to a quarter inch thick um, strips. Cut the whole cabbage up, then throw it in a big jar, uh, one of these containers that you can actually mix things in. If you use a small bowl, it's going to flow over the side. Mm. Add 2% Himalayan salt. That means per weight it is, if you have a kilogram of cabbage, then you're going to take 20 grams of salt. Got to be Himalayan pink salt. Work it in there. Toss it nicely, you see the cabbage will start sweating, but that's exactly what you want. It pulls the nice flavorful juices out of the cabbage. You want two onions, they kind of a starter. They've got germs and probiotics that will start the whole process off. So we don't want to wash anything clean or sterilize things. You can rinse it off with sterile water or with filtered water, but not tap water with chlorine and stuff. You kill the bugs, the thing is a flop. Chop up the onion in little pieces, dice it, and then toss it into this mix. Mix it up further. Notice I have a no stainless steel, no um, metal knives because the nickel in there will kill the bugs. Uh, then the thing won't ferment. So you take four carrots, chop off the ends, don't wash or scrub them, just you can rinse them lightly, not with tap water. Now we jelly in them into little strippies. We cut up all four of the carrots, toss it into the mix. There we go, nice and fine. And then we stir the whole thing up. Next we want to use one chombo chili. It's uh, an equivalent of habanero, it's quite strong into the whole two cabbage mix, it's not too bad. So we take out the little seeds because they got the capsiacum which gives a kick. We just want the little skins, chop them up fine, put them in there. We want half an apple now. Let's half this apple, then quarter it and take out the core. It's more for taste uh, in the kimchi, not because the sugar in the apple will ferment away. Can we dice that little apple up in small pieces, chuck it in the mix, toss it up again. Right, and then we do some green onions or spring onions, uh, about 10, 12, 15. You can rinse them off, remove any dead leaves. Now we chop the thing up into small little pieces, throw it in the mix. One turmeric, it looks like a little mini ginger, that yellow stuff, very, very good. And rich in antioxidants, we grate this up into the mix. We want four toes of ginger, uh, that gives the kimchi its unique taste. So we take four pieces, we grind this up or grate it up into our mix as well, into the bowl. Uh, there we go. That gives us um, super extra flavor. Then eight radishes. You can also use like one big daikon. It looks almost like a turnip, but you can usually not get hold of them. So I take eight um, radishes, skin and all. I just grate them up into the mix. There we go. Then toss that all in there. It's starting to look good. It's starting to sweat. So my hands are getting wet. No, not me sweating. The um, cabbage is sweating. Four cloves for flavor. Don't have to break them up. Just throw them in there because they will slowly dissipate their flavor into the mix. The thing's going to be on the shelf for about six weeks. We take some coriander in there, some cumin, gives uh, kimchi kind of a strong taste. Uh, then four or five cloves of garlic, peel them. It's also got um, probiotics, which is important to start this thing and make the natural fermentation. We squish the garlic flat and chop it into little pieces, and dice it up into the mix. There we go. Then 10 pimentos, they are like the green peppers of the trees before uh, peppercorns, before you try and grind them like we have. We use the black pepper, they are green. I leave them in olive oil and then I always have some handy for cooking. They're very flavorful. Now toss this whole thing up um, yeah, in your container. Add old kimchi juice from a previous batch because this kimchi juice will start the whole process up very fast and accelerate things to go into action. Now we want to take two 16 ounce jars. Remember eight ounces is a cup, so it's like four cups. Uh, of canning jars altogether. We fill this up with uh, with our mix, with our kimchi, and then we pack it down with a wooden spoon, no metal spoon, plastic, uh, it's okay, but wooden preferably. So we just pick, pack and pack and pack as we come up with the layers. Nice, it's starting to look very good. Can you believe it? All these two cabbages and the carrots and onions, everything, if you tightly pack them into the jars, they go in well. We don't want gaps and air pockets and oxygen in there because then the fermentation will be affected. So we pack it down, this natural juice will start pulling out of the cabbage and will cover the whole thing. What's left, what's now leaked into the container, we pour into our, um, into our jars. Then we pack it down firmly. That's very good. 
this thing's going to go into a dark cool place uh, a room temperature and no sunlight we got two glass pucks to pack it down you can also use like one cabbage leaf with a little ziplock full of water on top here to weigh it down and just lightly put on the lid if you just use a regular lid but i have your fancy lids they are fermentation lids they've got a rubber seal or a silicone seal and a little uh, one-way nozzle so thing, the, the, the thing can burp but it can't uh, suck in any air so we pull, put them on tight they even have a little calendar where you can dial the date on top now that's all nice and in weighed down weighed down by the glass puck we're going to take our little suction pump and suck all the air out of there now we're mimicking what's happening in our gut it's dark there's no oxygen for six weeks three months it's at its best for like a year two years it can last we run so and there we go voila your own delicious kimchi what do you know Ta-da! all done thank you very much make yourself some sauerkraut some kimchi some water kefir kombucha lacto fermented berries also opt into www.compassvitalhealth.com and subscribe to our website and facebook to learn about all the other super healthy foods you can ferment and many other health tips too see you next time